hey guys welcome back to angular 10 spring boot crude full stack application tutorial series in previous video we have created create employee form and once we submit this form we are able to get a form data inside on submit method so here we have create employee component right and we have defined on submit method inside create employee uh, component so once we submit the data the form data will be available inside this method so look at here we have just uh, provided a console log and we have printed employee object to the console in this video we will make a rest api call and we will send the form data to the rest api and rest api internally will process uh, this request and it will you know save the employee form data in a mysql database so first we need to create a method inside employee service so here i'm going to create a method which will make a rest api call and will send a data form data through rest api and rest api internally store data into mysql database all right guys let's go ahead and let's create a method let's say create employee and let's pass a employee object as an argument to create employee method and this is the type of employee typescript class followed by colon followed by observable and here we're gonna pass object as a type or you can pass any so if you don't know the response of the rest API you can just pass object or any uh, type okay like this all right let me provide object here and return this dot then http client and then we are going to send a http post request right for that we are going to call a post method here and then backstick let's use dollar and then curly braces and just call base url okay and comma and just pass employee object that's it it's pretty simple right so this is the post request so we have to send the data in a body of the post method like this now we will head over to the component and we will make this method call over there so basically we inject employee service in a create employee component and we will call the employee service method all right great let's head over to create employee component and let's inject using constructor let's say employee service and this is employee service and make sure that employee service is imported at the top okay great now what we'll do we'll create a save employee method here and inside save employee method let's call this dot employee service and then call its method that is create employee and let's pass the employee object as a method argument to this method and this method returns observable so we can subscribe to this method so that we can process a synchronous response here and it has the data as a response object and error syntax and we can able to print the error response like this and here i'm going to just print the success response to the console data so once we submit the employee form successfully then we should be able to navigate to the employees list page right for that we are going to use a router here so i'm going to create a separate method let's say uh, go to the employee list and here let's use a router to navigate to the employee list page let's first inject a router from angular uh, you know router package go to the constructor and here let's inject a router and make sure that router should be imported from angular slash router package okay now we can use this router to navigate to the corresponding uh, path so here i'm going to use a router this dot 
router dot navigate and then we pass the path of the route that we want to navigate so router provides a navigate method and through navigate method we can pass a path to which we are going to navigate now we call this save employee method from on submit let's go ahead and let's call this dot save employee method from on submit method and let's go ahead and let's add our employee information and submit the form let's say i'm going to add a employee like uh, let's say ram and power and email id as ram at the gmail.com hit submit i guess we got some error let me see what is the error inspect and go to the console we got a success response but uh, we are not able to navigate to the employee list page okay so let me head over to the vs code id and let me see what is missing yeah here we go so basically we need to call this method from here this dot let's call go to employee list method and save the file and let's see how it works now uh let me go to the employees list and let me add one more employee now let's say prabhas and then let's say jadav email id as prabhas at the rate gmail.com hit submit so look at here prabhas employee is added to the employee list it means that we have successfully made a rest api call and we have successfully stored a employee form data into mysql database and we were successfully able to navigate to the employee list page all right great so let me update this title let me head over to the vs code id again and go to the app component.ts file and here this is the name of the angular project so let me update this to let's say angular 10 spring boot crude full stack app something like this and let's save the file and let's head over to the browser and you can able to see the title is updated angular 10 spring boot crude full stack app now our application looks good so let me summarize what we have done in this video we have created create employee method which in turn make a rest api call and we have you know pass the employee form data to the rest api and we inject the employee service in create employee component and we use its method that is create employee method and we pass the employee form object to the create employee method and we process the response and we also just printed a error object if there are any exception in uh, you know processing this request so after a success response of the REST API, we navigate to the list employee page using, uh, you know, a router here. Okay, it's pretty simple. Alright guys, uh, we completed, you know, create employee functionality end to end. In next video, we'll create few REST APIs and then we'll create update employee component to perform update employee functionality. Thanks for watching, I will see you guys in next one.